Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at using some functions in a little application. This is going to be a project we make to convert between different uh, units of weight. So we're going to be going from pounds to kilograms or from kilograms to pounds. We'll do this first by just writing the logic of the code and then we'll take a look at how we can move this into functions to clean up a little bit of what we have. So to get started, let's go ahead and let's ask our user what their weight is. We'll start by saying, what is your weight? We'll just be incredibly rude about it. And then we'll just store that weight inside of a weight variable. And we'll use gets.chomp.2f. And oops, uh, we don't want to do that. We'll say we use 2f because weight may contain a decimal number. But this right here doesn't tell us what uh, type of weight this is. This could be either pounds or kilograms or whatever you want to use. So then we're going to say puts and what unit is this weight in or something like that. And then let's do uh, K slash LB, something like this, kilogram slash LB. Or you could do uh, something uh, a little bit different where you could say like, um, is that in uh, LBS or KG, where you put it inside of parentheses so the user knows which which input you're expecting. And then we can use unit dot or unit equals gets dot chomp, and then we can use dot down case to convert it from a capital L to a lowercase L, or if it's already a lowercase L, we'll just keep it as a lowercase L. This is the same trick we used last time in our temperature application. It just allows us to sort of standardize this so we only have to check against a lowercase l as opposed to having to check against like a capital L, a lowercase l, and a capital K and a lowercase k. So we go from having to check four cases down to two. So okay, we now have a unit of weight and we have a amount of it. Let's go ahead and let's do the if statement. We'll say if the unit is equal to, we're using double equals because that's the equality or the comparison operator. A single equals, as you'll recall, is just the assignment operator, which would be like if you said if uh, unit is now set to lowercase l, which means this would always be true. So we want to use the double equals here. If unit is equal to a lowercase l, then we know we have pounds. So we actually want to take our weight and multiply it by some amount. So what we'll do here is we'll say new weight is equal to weight and you can either multiply this or divide it because we're going from pounds because our user gave us pounds to kilograms you can just take this and divide it by 2.2 i think it's 05 ish and that'll give us a new weight we can then say puts your weight in kilograms is the new weight because we've gone from pounds to kilograms we can then use else if to say there's another condition where this is equal to K, that's our second case here. We have three cases, either the user gives us an L, a K, or they type in some nonsense. So this is our second case, in which case we wanna say our new weight is equal to our weight, and this time we'll do times 2.205. And then we can once again say puts your weight in pounds is this new weight. We can also do this a bit more properly by moving the unit after the amount. And then we can just say uh, your weight is, you know, 100 pounds or 100 kilograms. Then we can do our else block where we can say puts and we'll do something like uh, I don't support that unit of measurement, something like that. And then we can say end. And now we can take a look at this and, and see how we want to use this. Let's go ahead and let's type uh, Ruby and then main.rb to run our application. Let's start by saying I weigh 100. And then it asks us if that's an L or in K. Now, if I type L, I expect this number to get smaller because I'm going from pounds to kilograms. So let's type L and we can see here our weight is 45 point whatever kilograms. Now, there's a couple things we can observe from this. One, we might want to round this to a couple decimal places. The other thing we can observe is that uh, our, our logic here is doing some work 
in a way that almost seems like it's doing the same thing each time. It's not quite doing the same thing, but if you look at this, you can see, all right, we have like a, a new variable being declared, we're printing something. It almost seems like if, if things were just a bit more ideal, we could, you know, do this once somewhere and then only do it here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to do a refactor, which is just rewriting parts of the application to make it better or worse, depending on if, if you hate yourself. So let's go ahead and I guess right here, we'll just create a function. We'll say, let's create a function to convert the weight. And then we can come in here and we can do a def and let's say we want to convert a weight based on the unit. So we'll say convert weight. And then this will take in the weight and it'll take in the unit. And then in here, what we wanna do is we can pretty much put in this entire block of code that we have here, which is what GitHub Copilot is doing for us. And then we could just use this function. We could then come down here and we could say convert weight and then we can pass in our weight that we got and our unit and now if we run this application we'll get the exact same behavior let's say we have 100 and that's in kilograms and that'll give us 220.5 pounds this right here isn't actually helping us a lot it just allows us to put our weight converting application calculator thing into other parts of our code we don't really want that so let's go ahead and let's undo this and leave our units here. Instead of converting the weight based on the units, because that's a lot of what we're doing here, let's just say we want to go from pounds to kilograms. So let's say LBS to kg. We'll take in a weight. We don't need to take in a unit because we already know our unit is pounds if we're using this function. And then let's just go ahead and let's return the weight divided by 2.205. This line right here is the same thing we had right here. And now instead of doing this, what we could do is we could just say, let's do, uh, let me just comment this out. New weight is equal to LBS to KG of the weight. But we can actually take this a step further. It's not necessarily the cleanest way of doing this, but we can actually remove this. And instead of just putting the new weight in here, we can just replace this with LBS to KG. And now we've got all of this inside of a single put statement. So we can actually get rid of everything we had there. We now just need to say puts, your weight is LBS to weight or to kg, pass in the weight, and then we have our kg right here. We can do the same thing down here, where we just say this is gonna be kg to LBS, and then we wanna pass in the weight. But we don't have a kg to LBS yet, so let's go ahead and let's do that. So we'll say def kg to LBS, pass in the weight, then we want to return the weight times 2.205. And again, just as a reminder, the return here is actually optional. We can just leave it like this, and this will still be returning that information. So let's go ahead and let's run this program. We'll say I am 100 pounds, and that once again gives us 45.35. The nice thing about this is, let's say instead of just returning this, uh, we can do, we uh, also want to round to uh, two decimal places. So we can do our weight divided by whatever we had here. So let's say we do new weight is equal to weight, right? And then we can use new weight and call dot round to two decimal places. We can then return this. And this will now automatically do that rounding for us. We can do the same thing down here, new weight is equal to, and then we can return new weight rounded to two decimal places. So now let's try running this application and passing in 100 pounds again, and we'll see if this gets rounded at all. So let's do ruby main.rb, pass in 100, L, and now we can see that 100 pounds is roughly equivalent to 45.35 kilograms. And anytime we wanna change how we're displaying this information, we just have to change it in the functions. We don't have to go in here and look at our logic to try and figure out where we have to change things. That's a really nice uh, advantage of this. But of course, in this case, it's still only saving us two lines of code. What we could do here is we could also create another function and say def print LBS to 
kg. And then we could take in our weight. We can then come down here, hit end. And now what we want to do is just print off this line. And then we can replace this with print LBS to kg and pass in the weight. We could do the same thing down here where we go from kg to LBS, right? This is going to be, uh, instead of this, it's going to be print kg to LBS, pass in the weight. And then we can come in here and we can say print kg to LBS. And then we can put our puts in there. So now we have four functions that are doing all of this work, but it's effectively going to give us the same result each time. We pass in 100, L, your weight is 45.35 kg. That does simplify our if statement, but of course now we have multiple functions doing all of this stuff. One of the things that I want to caution you about is this is a very common way to clean up your code because it makes things like your if statements easier to read. But one thing you can run into is almost like a, a vertical platforming game like you would play as a child, like Mega Man or something where you got to climb up a tower or something where you go from here and you're like, all right, I have to print LBS to KG. And then you come up here and then you read through this. All right, I have to go to LBS to KG. And then I got to come up here and then I can finally take a look at the logic. You can end up in a situation where you've cleaned up your code so much that it just becomes a chore anytime you need to read into anything because you've abstracted it a little bit too much. I think in this case, you're still fine, but you do want to be aware of that. The other thing that I would say here is we could probably move our input logic off of the top of our function and just put all of our programming stuff down here. So this is like our, our logical flow, right? This then becomes our function department and this becomes our logical flow department. In the future, we'll cover how to move these functions into a different file so that we can use them from there. But for now, we'll just break up one file like this. But okay, we can do a little bit better. Let's make a function up here and we'll say def uh, get user uh, input. This will be our function that then gets the user input uh, and stores it in our weight or whatever we want to do here. What you'll see here is something we didn't actually cover in our function video. We can ask the user for their weight. We can ask for the unit, just like we were doing before. And then we can actually return two values. That allows us to get rid of all of this and instead we can just say weight comma unit is equal to get user input. And now we can return both of these. These will get stored in here and then we can use them just like we did before. So we still have our uh, logical flow section down here, but our logical flow section is looking a lot cleaner. Let's also go ahead and add this conditional thing into a function itself. Let's say def, uh, I don't know, print uh, weight conversion something like that. This needs to take in a unit and it needs to take in a weight, or I guess we've been doing weight and unit. Let's do weight and unit. Let me do a space here and, and then we can just grab this and move it up here. What's nice about this is now we can say print weight conversion for our weight and our unit. And now, as you'll notice, our logical flow section here is only two lines, which is really nice. We have our two lines. We can see our print weight conversion uses print pounds to kg. That uses pounds to kg. And there's our conversion. Let's take it one step further. Let's create a method here. We'll just call this main. Then we'll say this is going to do both of these lines of code. And, and then down here for our logical flow, all we'll do is we'll just say, let's call main. This is now our main function, which does everything else inside of it. So if we want to see how the program is doing things, we can just come up here and take a look at all of this. And then if we want to see what the program is doing, we pretty much just have to come in here and say it calls main and main is just getting user input and then printing the weight conversion. It's just a way to break up this logic. You'll see a a type of main method or main function in a lot of languages that kind of works like this. It's just like your main starting point. So we just move everything into a main function so that it's a little bit easier to use. We can, of course, run our application, Ruby main.rb, pass in 100 pounds. That gives us 45. We can run Ruby main.rb. You can pass in, I don't know, like 78 
and we'll say K for kilograms, which is about 172 pounds. Seems to work for me. Let's do our final test, rubymain.rb. What is your weight? 500, and I'll say that's in Snorlaxes. It doesn't understand that unit of measurement. That's fair, I don't either. But for now, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.